There is the devil. What do you know? Speak of the devil. Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. Right. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. It sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like schoolchildren? Well, it's like this, big boy. In hell, we do things exactly like you do them here. Or used to do them before Am took over. Are you saying that Am is in control of hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. Please, go away. Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. Right, so talk to Ellen again. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Please hang on, Ellen. Your father went to find an antidote for your illness. That was weeks ago, Ted. My father will never return, with or without an antidote. Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my stepmother. When the ugliness infected her, she broke just about every mirror in the castle. I can't let you die. The devil is waiting to take your soul. My soul was taken long, long ago, Ted. And not just by Am. Anything would be better than this never-ending torture. I'm sorry, Ellen. I can't find your mirror. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. Okay, so leave the room again and go now into the witch's bedroom. Um, and look at the books again. Uh, this is. Uh, look at the books, and you'll see there are more books than there were before. So read Here's those. Here's a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. The inscription says, complete the charm to summon the spirit, but do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. Well, luckily I'm up on my Shakespeare, I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. Here's the spell that the witch must have cast on Ellen. The incantation is Kala Ingma Thako. Okay, now we know uh, what to use against the witch. So we go up to her again. And talk to her. And, um... Well, you can take the others. It's... Let's just do it. Perhaps there's something else I can do for you instead. Well, it has been a long time since my husband left. If yeah. you can satisfy my needs as a woman, then I will help you escape. Anything but that. Um, so refuse her. Do it. 
just refuse her. I'm not going to make love to you. I would never betray my love for Ellen. Oh, you do a very convincing job of playing Prince Charming. But I know you better than that. Destroy the mirror and I will let you escape into the surface world. Sure, sure. All right, uh, so now use the spell with her, or on her. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly. And it's important that you choose the right spell uh, that you remember, and it's this one. It's Kala Ingma Thako. Oh, don't I? Kala Ingma Thako. Ah, <sighs> I suddenly feel so, so sleepy. Right, so she dropped uh, uh, some chalk. So take it. And use it on the circle to finish it. Why'd you have to finish the circle? Now I'm stuck here until we work out a trade. Right, then just talk to him. Who are you? I am Surgat, opener of locks. Am and I are brothers, more or less. Just keep talking to him. Are you saying that you are another Am? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him, a part that he doesn't know exists. Uh, what kind of locks can you open? I can open anything. Doors to a boudoir, doors to another world. What were you saying about a trade? I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete a trade. I will unlock something for you if you give me something in return. Can you open a gate into the surface world? Now that's a tall order, and the only thing you've got is a little love. Not well. exactly true love, but the closest thing to it in a world of five real people, more or less. More or less. You say love has trading value? Love is a very rare and precious commodity down here. It is worth much at the bargaining table. Betray your love for Ellen, give me her soul, and I'll open the gate to the surface world. How about taking the witch's soul instead? No, I don't want that old <laughs> hag. I want something that you value. Let me think about your offer. Don't think too long, human. There are other players in this game, and I won't be able to keep my offer open forever. All right, so uh, we we want him to open a certain door, but we have to examine it first uh, for it to be an option. So we want him to open this door, which is the maid's door. The door's locked. Yes. And, um... The door... Yes, there's nothing we can do to get in. So we go back to circuit. And tell him to open that door. Specifically. And... There we have it. Unlock the maid's bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy. But this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. And um, just give him your uh, the glass with your blood on it. That's apparently the juice thing he wants. That's much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? There. It is done. A trivial little task. One not even requiring any pyrotechnics. The maid's boudoir is now open for your inspection. Don't give... Um... Well, you can take this. I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you go down to the kitchen and see for yourself? Don't give him Ellen's soul. Whatever you do. Now, use the door. And it's open. Hmm. This must be the servants' quarters. And uh, there's really nothing of interest in How here. How quaint. A hope chest. 
I'll bet that maid is eternally hopeful. They all want their knight in shining armor. Only one thing. This is so cracked, I can barely see myself. And that is this tapestry. The devil's looking into a hand mirror. Yeah, that seems rather suspicious, right? So we leave again. And we go to Ellen's bedroom to confront the devil. And well, what do you know? This place seems to be getting very crowded. Um, so we talk to the devil. And confront him. I've seen the tapestry in the maid's bedroom. And I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right. I know where it is. I hid it before the angel showed up. I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good. Someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? Somewhere an angel would never go. Now where would that be? Who are you? Do not fear me. I am an agent of the Lord. What do you want? Ellen has suffered much and has earned her place in paradise. I have come to guide her soul to heaven. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in this sphere. They repel some and attract others. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? Avoid the demon. He has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Please, save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. And before we leave to find the mirror, we need to talk to Ellen again. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. There's an angel and a devil quarreling over your soul. Men have been fighting over my body for more than a hundred years. And now they want my soul. Please, Ted, just release me from all this. I don't care what happens to me anymore. Oh, Ellen. I'm sorry, Ellen. I can't find your mirror. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. So we'll leave the room. And now, where would an angel never go? Well, hell. So, where can we go to hell? No, but we have a book that talks about hell, specifically the Divine Comedy. There's a hand mirror right between the Inferno and Purgatorio sections. So this is where the devil hid it. And then we just need to go back to Ellen's room. and give her the mirror. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. I found your mirror, Ellen. Then show it to me. Let me see my face one last time. So give her the mirror. Oh, I look so tired and empty. It's time to sleep. She is dead. God have mercy on her soul. Not so fast there, golden boy. Her soul is mine. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered so much and gave to many. She deserves salvation. Listen to me, you feathered propaganda machine. I'll pluck you alive before you take this soul anywhere. I'm waiting until I get it. You forget that patience is a virtue. I will wait until yours runs out. 
Now, how do we decide this quarrel? Well, um, we use the mirror on the one who is um, the most vain, and that would be the devil, most likely. My, I am gorgeous. Why, I could just plunge right into myself. Plunge into the mirror instead. Ellen is now safely in heaven. My time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. God bless you, Ted. Will do. And now we just need to go back to the chapel. And uh, give the mirror to Sergat. Or use the mirror with the circle. What happened? How did I get trapped with this demon? And, well, we succeeded. I brought you some company, Sergat. That was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? And just talk to, to him. Why Am's responsible for our suffering? Not just Am. He's clever, but he doesn't do much original thinking. He works best with outside research. Research that one of your party carried out. You're ruining everything. Shut up. You shut up. One word to the boss and your little game's over before you can say holy Moses. I should strangle you now and save Am the trouble. Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon. I'm the established character. You're not even supposed to be here. When this sequence ends, somebody will be expunged. Human, Ted, let me out of this circle. In return, I will open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine. I can do this. Let me out before this pompous oaf bores me to death. Open the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are. But bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise, just the surface world. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to come. <laughs> Too bad, Dad. <laughs> Live in sweet agony. With the knowledge the surface world is no longer habitable. 